Welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to understand about resource meta arguments. So, for resources, there are special arguments present for us for altering the behavior of the resources. So, those are called meta arguments. So, meta arguments can be used with any resource type to change the behavior of those resources. So, those include depends on is one of the meta argument. So, count is another one. In the same way, we have something called for each provider and also life cycle. In addition to that, we also have provisioners and then connections. So, these also come under the meta arguments of a resource. So, these arguments can be defined inside the resources in addition to its own regular arguments for that respective resource. So, with that said, on a very high level, let's understand about what all these meta arguments are and in the upcoming lectures we are going to see each one separately so let's start with depends on so to handle hidden resources or module dependencies that terraform can't automatically infer so we can use depends on meta argument and then implement these dependencies and count so, this count meta argument is used for creating multiple resource instances according to a count. In the same way, for for each to create multiple instances according to a map or a set of strings. So, and we also have provider. So, if you remember in our provider block, we already learned about multiple providers okay So for selecting a non-default provider configuration, we can use the meta argument provider in respective resource and life cycle. So, life cycle meta argument is for altering the standard resource behavior using special nested life cycle block within a resource block body. And finally, provisioners and connections. So, for taking extra actions after the resource creation. Example, install some app on server or do something on your local desktop where your terraform cli is installed after resources is created at remote destination so for this type of scenarios you can use provisioners and then connections so for provisioners and connections also we have a dedicated section and there we will learn different types of provisioners available and then how we are going to implement so here in our this respective section in section 4 we will focus on depends on count for each and then provider and then life cycle even for each we might move to section when we are learning during the modules so in our next lecture we'll go ahead and then focus on learning more about depends on and then implement the depends on uh, meta argument using elastic ip and creating a vpc and also a ec2 instance so i'll see you in the next lecture until then bye bye thank you